Right. So, Linda, today I want us to discuss this issue of um, Zambia. Zambia has become a problem of the region. In fact, by the time that we had Hachilema coming into power, we know that shenanigans took place. The Americans were vastly involved in sabotaging the previous president. A lot of activity was undertaken. The CIA were undertaking operations within Zambia. People died in the process. And nobody knows about this. And yet it's part and parcel of the agenda of what it is that the Americans want to do through Zambia by bringing in AFRICOM because of the fact that Botswana is actually looking at removing the base. Now, you wrote an article that is making everybody feel uncomfortable in Zambia. And the question that I'm asking is, why are they uncomfortable in Zambia if what you're saying is not true? The entire media wants to interview you. I wrote an article as well where I was talking about how Hachilema himself came into power after being a billionaire, used to privatize Zambian assets, mm -hmm. Zambian resources, and Zambian parastatals to leave Zambia with nothing mm -hmm. to the extent that right now it survives by generally borrowing finances from China and other parts of the world because it was left bankrupt without any real assets and factors of production because of the current president, Achille And now today, this very same man who we have been trying to be diplomatic towards, has decided to put Africa in Southern Africa, a region that has been very stable. Very peaceful. A Relatively region that is peaceful. Yes. And everywhere else where the United States has got a base, there is a lot of problems. In East Africa, we know the, the Kenyans have got a base, got a British base, an American base, and they've got the problem with Al-Shabaab. We know that in Somalia, they've got a base, they've got problems there. Lemanie in uh, uh, Djibouti, they've got a base, there's problems there. In, East, in West Africa, wherever they've got a base, we've got issues in Nigeria. We've got issues with uh, terrorism. What is your take and what is it that you feel about this issue of Zambia, which is allowing the continuous colonization of the African continent now by the addition of a base in Southern Africa where we didn't have one? Um, thank you, Ritendo. I feel like um, the current administration in Zambia, led by our President Haiti Lema, is actually selling out and reversing the gains of the liberation struggle and Sadak states. We must not also forget that um, Zambia was the first to attain independence and a lot of countries actually looked up to Zambia as they struggled to, 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 to fight for their own independence. And that is the bond that Zambia has with the rest of Southern African countries. And fast forward today, having a new Zambian government that is in bed with America, setting up a security office of cooperation in Zambia is actually scary. It is actually a real cause of concern, which a lot of um, Sadak African countries should actually start interrogating. Because we have had a lot of issues around um, the recolonization of Africa and just the mere aspect of having military presence, foreign military presence in your country, it is a feature of the new scramble for Africa. A lot of African presidents have ignored this. They have not looked at the implications of setting up of such offices and how they actually destabilize our own continent. We have seen the destabilization in North Africa. We saw the destabilization in East and West Africa. And it will only be folly for us in Southern Africa to allow the destabilization of our region because we want to entertain the American military in our space. There is no strengthening or cooperation that is going to be happening. We all know how the American uh, military works. We all know how CIA works. Unfortunately, unlike most people under the sun, I am not afraid of the CIA. I will speak boldly and confidently about their covert and overt operations because they've been responsible for almost all the problems we've been facing in Africa. All the problems we are having in Zimbabwe are the third hand and the third force of the CIA in this country. And, and, and what a lot of people do not understand is that Zambia, in as much as they're given credit for assisting us to get our independence in Zimbabwe, even under uh, 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 what you call it, um, 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 Kaunda, they were actually in bed with the West. Exactly. Henry Kissinger was talking to Kaunda, and Kaunda felt that uh, Zimbabwe must not be liberated by the gun, 
but it must be liberated by negotiation mm -hmm. because he felt that if they won by the gun property rights of white people would be lost and that industry that was assisting the Zambian economy would be lost in the process. So a lot of times our leaders want to give credit to Zambia because they appreciate the fact that we were given training bases. But what our leaders don't say is that Zanla had to leave Zambia. Exactly. When, when, when sure. Zanla leaders were being arrested in Zambia because they would not agree to negotiation. Exactly. There is even allegations by certain books that uh, 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 Chitepo himself was probably killed with the collusion of Kaunda because he wanted the war to end so that there'll be a negotiated settlement in which property rights would remain in the hands of white people. So that would mean that our land reform wouldn't have taken place. Exactly. And so now I start wondering with the actions of people like Kalibwe and the actions of the current president, that does this government actually have the interest of Pan-Africanism or does it actually have the interest of continuing what it is that Henry Kissinger said in NSSM 39, that Southern Africa should become an area of control for the Americans because it's the gulf of strategic mineral resources, which include platinum, chrome, uranium. nickel, uranium, and of Diamonds, course, lithium, yes, and there's the it. issue of Kanyemba, mm -hmm. where apparently the Americans have had a lot of interest on Kanyemba. They wanted because of the to, gas, the oil, the uranium, the there. uranium there, and they wanted and they to wanted develop to a city. Set a base there. Yes, they also and wanted set to a set base a base there. there. That is something that a lot of people do not know that Zimbabwe resisted the setting up of a base in Kanyemba, and, and the, when they couldn't set it up, they had to go the route in Zambia because it is closer to Kanyemba. What they are interested in are the minerals in Kanyemba and the minerals in Zambia. The Americans never, 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 and they have never cared about the interests of Africans. They are interested about what they can get out of Africa. And until we get to a time where Africans understand that they do not care for us, we are just going to be selling out the future of our children, the posterity of Africa for aid. Aid is the use of soft power, soft power to subdue us. The setting up of this cooperation uh, office in Zambia means that the military in Zambia no longer has power. It will be reporting to the American brigadier who will be heading that security, um, the Office of Security Cooperation. And, These and, are things that people have to understand and people, things that the Zambians have to resist. People that, I mean, the Zambians have to interrogate all these issues because their military is going to be subdued eventually and they are going to be controlled by the Americans and they no longer have their sovereignty and they no longer have any inch of territorial integrity. It is important for Zambians to understand that. And if they've got any doubts, the Zambians must understand that AFRICOM is currently based in uh, Germany. And Germany is an American colony. It is occupied by over 45,000 U.S. soldiers that are sitting in Germany at this particular moment. And not only that, it's not the only base. AFRICOM is not the only base in Germany. There's also Rammstein, which is the biggest military base of the Americans. It's actually a city, an American city with McDonald's, with banks, financial institutions, and accommodation schools and universities for Americans within Germany. And they are the ones that determine even German policy. Do you know that Germany cannot manufacture certain weapons? They cannot manufacture certain things. They cannot manufacture airplanes today because of the Potsdam Agreement that was had after the Second World War when Germany was officially occupied and colonized by the Americans. Many people don't know this. Yes, if they I can do that. I issue yesterday on what FM. I actually articulated that if, that if the Americans are doing that in European countries. And, and Japan. Think about the effects. If they come into Africa, which is so poor, we are trading our continent for the presence of the U.S. military. We don't need them. Zambians should resist this. Sadak should resist this. And the rest of Africa should resist this. And finally, let me also actually tell you that the Americans actually have a blueprint or a strategy that is called the new uh, uh, Silk order. Route. The new Silk Route actually says that they want to establish bases on the African continent in all parts of the world that make sure that they can launch a military attack and occupation of any country within three hours. So the new Silk Route, new Silk Route that's coming through Africa is an establishment of bases in all parts of Africa so that they can attack any capital city within three hours through those military bases, uh, lily pads, and other types of 
uh, American establishments in countries that are in Africa. And Zambia has already started playing towards giving America that power. They have already begun to allow the Americans to recolonize Africa through their military on the African continent. And we are saying we do not need this. But let's also warn the Zambians. The South Africans currently enjoy super uh, star status, or shall we call super power status in, in Southern, Southern Africa. Africa. And by you allowing the Americans to establish their interests in Zambia, you are actually poking the eyes of the South Africans. And eventually, this is going to put you at loggerheads with the South Africans in terms of trade, with the South Africans in terms of loans, the South Africans in terms of trading relationships, and ultimately, militarily. So and let the Zambians be isolation. Oh, and it will lead to isolation in the Sadek region. The reason why Masisi has been trying to remove the base in Botswana is he's trying to realign with the rest of SADC. And you, Hachilema, have decided to come because of your grand thought on history, your history as a consultant for American and British firms that recolonized and allowed the Zambians to lose their resources, to lose the control of their uh, factors of production. And you are now beginning to put yourself at loggerheads with SADC. You're not going to win this war. Lastly, my advice to the Zambian government is for them to consult and observe the SADC protocols of defense and security. We are one people, we are Africans, and we should put the interests of Africans first. We should not take actions that will compromise the ter territorial integrity of neighboring countries. And this is something that we're not taking lightly, and we're not going to rest about it until um, President Aichilema um, withdraws whatever agreement that they were trying to have with the US uh, African command. We don't need that in Southern Africa. We want to enjoy our peace. We want to enjoy our stability. What we're supposed to be advancing are African ideas to develop Africa for Africans and not to get the freebies, which are now slowly trickling into Zambia in the name of stability. We have the resources, we've got our minds, we've got organic intellectuals in every African country that can push organic ideas that can stabilize our region and eventually make Southern Africa a first world continent. But as long as we are crying out for freebies, setting up military command in our own countries, we are doing a great disservice to the struggles that our forefathers struggled to fight colonialism. Neo-colonialism is at our desktop, Africa is under siege, and we have to resist whatever form of neo-colonialism that is coming our way as Sadak. Thank you. And it, it can't make sense, Linda, that Zimbabwe is under sanctions that are illegal mm -hmm. by the United States. SADC makes a position, takes a position that they do not want these sanctions, they are illegal sanctions, they want the sanctions on Zimbabwe to be removed. And the AU also takes the same position. We have the 25th of October as the day in which uh, SADC fights sanctions, and then Hachilema goes and allows a country that has got sanctions on a partner <laughs> nation to actually establish a base, a military base. All, all this, it's, it's, it's semantics it's when they say that, when they say that, no, it's just an office. It's not an office. The intention is to put a base in Zambia as they had wanted to put in Kanyemba. And Hachilema is giving access to, and I think as African leaders, SADC leaders, there has to be a concerted effort to engage Hachilema, to talk to him. And if he doesn't listen, then we, we maybe need to isolate him in the same way that we isolated a superpower and a, mil and, and a nuclear power that was the apartheid government, because we cannot tolerate this type of uh, unilateralism that uh, Hachilema is beginning to exert on this region. And by the way, he's not a politician, he's a businessman <laughs> who made his money corruptly. Exactly. By allowing corrupt and everyone seems sales. to have forgotten that. Yes. And we cannot conclude this session without also speaking about how the U.S. aided the win of the High Chilema administration. We know about that. Just because we don't talk about it doesn't mean we don't know about that. So President High Chilema should be warned that we are not going to be tolerating um, agents of the West, agents of recolonization in Sadaf, and we are going to take action as Zimbabweans because we will never allow Zimbabwe to be a colony again. We will never allow any other African country to be a colony again. What we should be doing as Africans is to demand reparations from all the countries that benefited from our resources, not setting up a foreign military bases to continue looting and plundering our resources in Africa. Our message is clear. We want Sadak to speak with one voice as before and to continue strengthening our region for the pros pro prosperity and posterity of all Sadak states. And Hachilem, let us tell you this clearly. You might have the support of the United States government, the apartheid government, which was a white government, had the support of the Americans, but they were removed from this region. If you do not change the way you behave, 
we will make sure that you'll be removed from this region. And that is a promise because we've done it before. And it will be done again.